that, that preach here. So we're going to talk a little bit about why is the library important to you. Uh, certainly uh, seating and study space. Uh, that'll be one of the things that will be important uh, uh, while you're studying for classes, maybe meeting a friend, uh, taking a break between classes, trying to do a Zoom class where you in between your in-person classes. Uh, there's uh, lots of resources. We'll talk more about that. There's the library website that's going to help you uh, have access to all those collections. Some new tools. We have a new local technology collection. Uh, getting assistance from a very helpful staff. I think there's six of the 45 librarians uh, at, at Manoa. Uh, yeah. Be able to get materials in person or digitally. And there's some student employment opportunities. We employ a fair number of students in a variety of different departments.
520 databases. So those are typically subject-specific uh, electronic resources to help you on a particular topic, say architecture or business or, or nursing or social science or physics or engineering. Uh, most of our journal collections of, are electronic. So if, you're, if the professor asks you to find a scholarly journal article, you're going to uh, access some of these uh, e-journals. And we have a lot of electronic books, which which are you, you can check out on your um, on your laptop or on your phone. Uh, so all all very important. Um, and we have a number of specialized collections that are really important. And some of these are we are world known for our Hawaiian and Pacific collection. Um, we'll talk more about that later. Asia and East Asia uh, that we're known for. Um, our maps and geographical information collection, there's more than 200,000 maps in that, in that collection. Uh, archives and manuscripts, the Charlotte collection, which is a, uh, an artist's collection, and some uh, really interesting special collections. Uh, and I will let uh, others talk more about those. And here we have Jan. Hi, my name is Jen Song. I'm one of the four librarians in Science and Technology Department. And again, welcome. It's a wonderful place. And uh, I'm going to uh, share very briefly about my department. So here is the first one. There is a test afterwards. You have to memorize this URL. No, I'm kidding. You don't have to memorize anything. Basically, it is manoa.hawaii.edu is the school website slash library is where we are online, and then you can find a lot of things there. So anyway, this is our website. So you can come here, you can find a lot of things. Again, this is coming through the library main web page, and we have a lot of library guides. Later, somebody will talk about this. This is a site we created for you. Without coming to the library, you'll learn about us. And also, you can communicate with us, sci, ref, at hawaii.edu. So these are online communication, but I still love analog. So you can meet us uh, through this. So somebody says earlier, our building is actually two buildings. One was built in 1960s and 70s, that's here. And this one is built in 2000, that's where we are. Even though it looks small, it's a pretty big. So when you come, this is the entrance. Do you remember so the beautiful murals here? Actually, it's uh, created back in 1930s. So take your time to come and enjoy this. It's a lovely mural. And this is a circulation. And then you pass this passage towards this. And you can come to this bridge area. So building, this building is five floors. And this building also five. Originally, they thought of this bridge all five floors, but some <laughs> engineering uh, problems. So they ha we have only two bridges to from here to here, first or second. And so once you pass this one, you come to us. That's where we are. And as I said, I love still analog. You can meet us in person. So we have a four librarians. Anybody is studying uh, college of tropical agriculture and human resources? No? Yay! And Patricia Brandis. And when you are here, take your time to hike. On Sunday, I did a nine mile, I mean, seven mile hike, so I still walk rubbly because I went to the mountain. We call it Olympus. It's the highest peak on this side of the island. It took five hours. It was hard, but it was great. So take your time to go out, enjoy the nature here. And Jonathan Young, who is a College of Natural Sciences. Yay, welcome, welcome. And nursing, and oh yes. So she is a Kellen Dennison, and me, engineering. Yay, SOEST. Yay, great. So we, you can meet us there earlier that area, so email us. We are more than welcome to see you in person. Don't hesitate to come to us. And again, welcome.
My name is Malia Van Hicklum, and I'm an art archivist librarian. It's an unusual role, and I'm here to talk about what's a little bit different about a research library than what you may have experienced in high school or public libraries. We have special collections that some of them circulate where you can borrow the books, uh, but there are a lot of things that you have to actually come in to use the materials in person, and that includes archives and rare books, ephemera, meaning like little pamphlets, things that were going to be thrown away, so incredible research material. We have uh, pictures of three of them on the screen. Our government documents and maps collection is in the basement right when you come in the front door. They also have an incredible GIS lab that is available to students. Uh, the Asia collection reading room. Uh, Ellie is going to talk a little bit about what they do, but they also have archival materials and rare books. And then the Hawaiian and Pacific collections, which Eleanor is going to speak about as well. Uh, that, some of the spaces have their own reading room where you may be able to check things out but not leave the room and you have to look at the materials there. Any question there, um, the library on duty gonna answer. 
And lastly, we have our email reference, asialefhawaii.edu. So you can always send us any general or specific questions to us. And uh, as Jen said, like, don't hesitate to contact us. And anybody interested in K-culture, K-drama, K-music, BTS? Oh, good. Blackpink? Yeah. So <laughs> if you, um, I, even the graduate student uh, didn't know we buy books for them. So if you want to uh, read about uh, K-drama, K-music, and uh, anything else, just uh, send us email. And as long as it's not like a BTS photo book, well, then I will buy it for you. So <laughs> just contact us. Thank you. Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Eleanor Klecker, and I am one of two Pacific Collection librarians, and I work in the Hawaiian and Pacific Collections. I'm actually super fancy department chair. Yeah. All the power. Um, and we are located on the fifth floor, not the same fifth floor, a different fifth floor. The, the, main, the main fifth floor? No, just a fifth floor. Um, and we have three Hawaiian librarians, which would be Dori Minato Dani, Kapena Shim, and Jody Matos. And then there's me and Stu, which is like me, but he's taller, lots taller. Um, we have what's called a comprehensive collection. So uh, Clem discussed the, the fabulousness of our collections. Our collections are considered very fabulous. Um, so we've got the largest, and we've counted, we've got the largest collection of Hawaiian and Pacific material in the world. Better than the Library of Congress, better than the National Library of Australia, we're super fancy. So if you are interested in going into Hawaiian or Pacific studies, Pacific linguistics, any of those things, um, you've come to the right place. I think most of you are going to have to take a what's called a HAP class, which is Hawaiian, Asia, and Pacific. So, uh, that's part of your foundational classes. So please come and talk to us about your exciting uh, assignments that you're going to be doing because we're here to help and provide you with way too much information, but also help you sort through the way too much information. The other thing about comprehensive collections is my job is to collect everything. I get to purchase stickers like I'm an eight-year-old girl. Um, I get to go to the Cook Islands next month to buy books. Um, I get to buy the materials that are produced by your professors. So there's a wide range of things that I get to buy. If it's about the Pacific, I get to acquire it. So if you want to talk about becoming a librarian, that's also possible because it's a really fun job. Um, one thing is uh, we have a closed stacks collection, which means you request any material from our collection via the online catalog. And we are happy to walk you through that and how that, how that works. Um, and that's because we've got a very specialized collection. Most of it does not leave the reading room. So you have to use it in our, in our reading room. And there are many and varied ways to contact us, including email, but also show up in our reading room anytime between 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. during the week. And there will be a library in there, probably a little bit bored and really happy to talk to you. So please come. Give us someone to talk to. Thank you. So I'll talk about this. So we uh, last year we started a new uh, loanable technology collection because we wanted to provide students with resources. If you have a project to do that uh, required a camera or a microphone, or maybe you were doing a video and you wanted a green screen and you don't happen to have one of those on your own, uh, that you could uh, uh, come in and borrow those uh, from us. Uh, they uh, checked out for a week with some additional renewals. It's a fairly large collection. Um, so please take advantage of that. Uh, and, you know, maybe you've heard of GoPros and you've never, you don't have one and you'd like to see what they look like or use one you know, just, just for fun. Maybe you don't even have a project. So you, can, you, know, you certainly can, uh, can come and borrow something just to sort of experiment if you're interested in Virtual reality, we have a couple of Oculus headsets. 
um, that you can come and play with uh, to, learn, to learn some new things. And this collection continues to grow. We have one librarian, part of his role is, is to uh, acquire new types of technology and that uh, uh, is growing uh, pretty rapidly. And Margaret's going to talk about it. Yeah, I forgot to mention the ukulele. Oh, right. Yeah, the ukulele. ukulele. Yeah. Learn ukulele. We have, I believe, eight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Um, hi, I'm Margaret Joyce. I am a cataloger in the, at Hamilton Library, so that means I'm not one of the people you see in the reference room or something like that. I'm one of the people working behind the scenes to make everything work, uh, including the website, which is what I'm going to talk about and probably what you're going to encounter first with the library. So this is what our website looks like. Um, we have the web page here. It's not hard to find. I, just Google Manoa Library all the time. Um, so we have a lot of different options. You can see one of the things you might be interested in is on the library website, we have the hours every day posted. So that's something you can look at. You know, when is the library going to close today? And if you click on that box, it will show you the whole calendar. So if you want to plan, you know, I need to do some studying over the weekend or something like that, it will tell you when the library hours are. Um, we have a bunch of resources here on the bottom, including uh, journals, the study spaces, which we've talked about, databases, research guides. We also have what exhibits there are at the library. So we have different exhibits featuring some of the collections. You can see uh, what we're sort of featuring. Usually there's a theme. Um, it might be a history month or something. We have recent news and upcoming events, just kind of a clearinghouse for everything at the library. And we have this button, which is Ask a Librarian. So if you don't know where to start, um, that's a good thing to uh, click on. And you can either email to a librarian or you can do live chat, I believe, 9 to 5, Monday to Friday, and ask the question and get a real-time response. Eight to five. 8 to 5. Oh, even better. All right, some more highlights of the website. So we have the research guides, which Jan and others have talked about. These are resources maintained by librarians, so they're a good place to start if you have a research paper or something like that and you need sources. We have the databases, which Clem talked about, and what database you use probably depends on you know, what school you're in, what discipline you're learning about. We have the learning skills, this button right here, which says, English 100 students, that sort of gives you a hint, it's for new students. Um, you can click on that and there's a lot of video tutorials of how to do things in the library and on the library website, so it's very helpful. And then we have OneSearch. So OneSearch is this big Google search looking button that we have on the library website. If you want to just search everything we have in the catalog, like see everything that's available. And. Um, it defaults to OneSearch, so that's just searching everything. But if you know you want archives, or you want databases, or you want articles, there is a drop-down menu available to sort of uh, limit your search. And if you do an actual search and you just find you only know, have 50,000 results and you need to filter it out, when you get on the search page, there is this tweak your results bar, and you can click on what it is you're looking for. For instance, if you know you want Online resources, you can do the available online, which is really helpful, or if you know you want something that's actually in print and held by the library. And all of these different spaces can be uh, clicked and they expand, and then you can say, oh, I want this location, or I only want resources that were published after this date, or something like that. So uh, I'm sure you'll become more familiar with it as the year goes on, but that's the basics of the website. Who is next? So a tip, log into your library account up here when you are searching because you can make lists of things you want to find later and save it. Also, if you're in different places and, and you're not logged in, it might not let you get to see the article online, it'll block you. So tip, log in. And Okay, so here's some things on how you can get your resources. 
and how you can get assistance. We've already covered it a little bit, but let's just go through it quickly. So let's say you want an article, or you want a book, and you found it online. You can come into the library and find it yourself. Or you can get one of us in my department at Circulation or the reference desk to go help you find it. Keep in mind the library is like a big city. It has neighborhoods and it has street addresses. Neighborhood, SciTech, Neighborhood, Pacific Collection. So when you're working in the one search and you get uh, a book you want, look at where it is. And its call number is its street address within that neighborhood, okay? Um, anyways. You can come in and find it, we'll give you a hand. But while you're in a record, and you say, I want this item, I want this book, but I'm really busy, you can request it online. It's kind of like ordering from Macy's, you know? We pick it up, and you pick it up at Macy's. Well, you know, it is. So um, that's called Get This Item, and you'll see it here. And you would click on Physical Item, and then it comes to my department, and I hire 20, 25 students who go look for it for you. And then you'll get a message through your library account that says, come and get your book. It's ready for you to pick up in circulation. Or let's say you just want an article out of a journal. It's not in the electronic journals, but you need this article for your SOAS class. You can ask us, please digitize, scan that, and send it to me as a PDF. We will do that. Or a chapter or two out of a book to help you make it easy to get your work done efficiently. So we are here to help you. Um, so the other thing you can do, request a document we just talked about. Let's say there's a great book that shows up on your OneSearch, but we don't own it. Anybody ever use interlibrary loan before? We will go and ask hundreds of libraries, actually, it goes out to, on a system, and we will get it for you. And we almost have success all the time. Um, the only time we have a problem is somebody doesn't want to lend it to us. They have it, but they won't ship it. But now we're using something called controlled digital lending, where we scan a whole book, we put it into a system where we check it out to you electronically for a few days or a week or whatever. You, can't, you can only read it, you can't download it, you can't copy it. But you get to see something that maybe is in the library in London or in Hawaii or whatever. And you will also get course reserves, uh, books that your professors have assigned chapters out of or whatever for you to read for your course. They may be in your La Lima, your online class. There'll be a link and it'll take you to course reserves. That's the same. We digitized it. It goes into a, an application where you get to read it. You'll see the chapters, etc. So again, remember to log into your library account. Okay, so that's how you can get stuff. Um, you can also, when you're in the library, you've heard about all these reference desks. They're usually manned. We took a lot of these pictures during COVID, so nobody was here, but now they are. And Clem has asked us to man our desks in person. So you will see people, and they are there to help you. So don't be nervous. Don't think there's any dumb question. There isn't. And the next one. OK. This is a reiteration of a lot of what you've heard. You can talk to librarians. And you see, we're really enthusiastic about our job. We love talking to students. And most of us are specialists in subject areas. And we know how to get you stuff and save you time rather than you trying to wade through 500,000 pieces on a one search. So use us. We are here to serve you. We're not just, we don't go around shushing people and we don't worry about keeping the book straight. Well, I do. I'll straight on the shelf. That's not. Not too much. You can do an Ask a Librarian on the website. They showed you where you click, and it'll be a form you could fill in if you just want to send an email. They're really good about getting back to you within 24 hours, if not sooner. Ellie's crew, crew does that uh, group, and uh, the other librarians, um, they're, they're following it throughout the day. After 5 o'clock, well, no. The other thing that's become we've instituted is chat rep. So that's instant communication. You will get a student. My, our department, Access Services, has students 8 to 5. They're the first one to pick up your question. And if they can answer it, they will. If they can't, they'll pass it off to a librarian who Hawaii Pacific. They always have an, a librarian in the background so we can switch the call over to them to get you the best help um, right then and there if possible. 
So um, you may want to work for us too. We look for students who will help us on chat rep. And then again, the other thing was LibGuides. That's a go-to place. They figured out already what are some of the best places for you to go and save you time and get fantastic resources. So make use of the LibGuides. Do a browse. There's 102 of them, so they're by subject, they're divided by departments, by subject areas. So if you're in Biology 101, or you're in nursing, nursing, here's your home page. And Carolyn is a fantastic health services librarian. So she's done a great page, and she'll do great when she meets with you in the nursing classes. You'll get tutorials. So you'll get more of this, but this is to get you started. Um, did I forget anything, team? OK, last but not least, the library is a great place to work. My department alone holds hires about 20 to 25 students. How many do you have, Eleanor, generally? 10, okay, to help do the work of the library to get books for you. We hire them for the service desks. We hire them as collection assistants. You'd be unboxing new materials or shelving or doing inventory, helping us do exhibits and displays. Um, downstairs in acquisitions, where they buy all our books, you can work with them. Cataloging the serials, I have students, desktop, IT client. If you're a computer science major, this is a great hands-on job, fixing computers, figuring out, installing software. Digital labs, this is really exciting, and we're expanding our digital operations, so we're scanning whole books. We're reformatting old vinyl records of Hawaiian music into streaming music, old films. Um, so that's a real skill area that we look for students. We're getting lots of nice swanky new equipment too. And the preservation department, which is one of my favorite, that's where we repair books or we make nice boxes for rare material. Or we iron newspapers. Why do we iron newspapers? Anybody think they know why? Any guesses? What are we going to do with those ne newspapers next? Probably scan them or microfilm them to preserve them, because the newspaper is cheap paper and it crumbles really fast. Um, so yeah, so if you're interested in library jobs, go to Seeky. Have you heard of Seeky yet? It's a student employment exchange. That's where we post all the jobs. It'll tell you what's open. Set up your account there. You can see not only library, but what's at you know, sports center, what's at other departments, and find jobs. So, and the good thing about the library is we're, we are open on Saturday and Sunday, so some jobs are available. And during the week, we're open till 10 p.m. on Monday nights or Sunday night. We stay open till 10 through Thursday night. So if it works your hours and you're interested, that might be a good thing for you too on the evenings and weekends. So with that said, how's our time, guys? We're good? Okay, this is the Seeky. This is when you go on Seeky. This is what it'll look like, and you're going to set up your account. And so come in, take a tour, find your favorite seating spot, talk to libraries and staff and students' assistants. And next Monday, on Monday, come by our table at Campus Center and Coy Kendall Lawn. And maybe we'll have some swag out too um, in the library. So if you have any questions now, you can ask them. Ask them in the library. So we're really excited to see you all. And it's been a lonely place all summer. So come on. Questions? Can you want to ask questions? Sure. Before questions. So one of the things that I really want to emphasize uh, to you is the library is here to help. The space is important, the collections are important, but most important to you are the people. They're the ones that will help you and save you lots of time for, for assignments, help you get into some resources that can be uh, transformative for your time here at, at Manoa. Uh, we have fabulous collections uh, in some areas, some of the best in the world. Um, and so you know, come explore some of those while you're, while you're here. So people, place, collections. Uh, you have any questions? Yes, we have time. Um, do hours adjust during midterms and finals? Yes. 
Yes, it was 30 feet down the hill until 2 a.m. Oh, wow. Oh, right. So uh, do we adjust hours during uh, midterms and finals? So actually, not during midterms, but during finals, yes, we're open uh, until 2 a.m. And you can always look on, uh, on the website on that little box. Okay, always look here, and it changes, and it will tell you when you'll be open. So today we're closing at... Uh, Right. But you can actually check the calendar for, for, the, for the whole semester. Uh, so we'll change that. That's not right. We're closing at five. So right. It's right. Anyways, so if you're planning something, and you know, I'm going to have something special to do in late October, or whatever the hours, you can look, you can look ahead and, yeah. and, and see what's going on. Same if you want to use one of the reading rooms. Go to the hours and view all hours and check and make sure the Pacific reading room is going to be open when you want to go there or the archive. Other questions? <laughs> Some of you came in later that I had asked a question. Anybody's birthday today? basement and 